Austin Otto has to say about all the action at Riverside Downs. <laughs> you know, life can be so hard for some, <laughs> and it can be so easy for others. And as a matter of fact, let me lay something on you, Jack. I got a phone call just the other day, and I got to admit it, it shocked Austin Idol. Because on the other end of the telephone, of all people, it was Jerry Lawler. And Jerry Lawler said, Austin Idol, don't hang up on him, man. He said, I got a proposition for you. He says, I know you, I know you ain't going to believe this, but I want you to be a partner with me right here. He said, because, yeah, I've had some hard times lately. I've been knocked out of wrestling. I've been racked up real good, and I need some help, Jack. And I made a master list of people, and I thought of everybody I could think of. But when I was thinking of the dude who could do what I wanted to get done, only one name came to my mind, and it was Austin Idol, because he said, I know Austin Idol is vicious. I know he's a savage. I know he'll do anything. He'll do anything for the almighty dollar. I know he'll swim with the sewer rats. He'll crawl out from under the rocks like the snakes. I know he'll crawl across broken glass on his belly like a reptile for a buck. And I told Lawler, you got to make it a little sweeter than that. And he said, what if I told you Ronnie Gossett was going to be ringside, the guy that promised you a world title shot that never delivered the goods after you did what he wanted you to do? And that was the clincher. I said, Lord, give me my check in the mail. Guarantee me that big, fat, obnoxious, overbearing slob will be at ringside, and you're going to see what the King Racker can do.